The design of the factory is an attempt to balance the disrupted ecosystem prior to building the establishment. 5,000 workers work in this factory where 80% of them are women. This puts a huge impact on the women empowerment in this locality. To keep the environment of the working force naturally favorable, the south, north and east facades are kept open to let the breeze pass through the building. The front facade has openings and verandas with 4 feet depth and also covered with layers of plants. <laughs> Four huge water reservoirs contain 500,000 litres of water used for fire security. These reservoirs are also used for rainwater harvesting. The northward wind passing through the plants and the water reservoirs enter into the building through four circular voids. Thus the indoor spaces remain colder than outside. The whole complex has no air conditioning and very few numbers of electric fans. Large openings and atriums create the opportunity to use maximum amount of daylight. The energy consumption of this factory is very low with respect to its size and number of users. Used water is being treated naturally and used again for dyeing. That reduces consumption of fresh water. In the rooftop of the daycare center there is Nondini Park designed artistically which also serves as the occasional dining where workers sit there to have their lunch. Nondini's variety of flowers and greenery keeps them fresh and cheerful. There is a care center in front left side of the factory for the proper care of the workers. A medical team led by experienced doctor is working 24-7 for their health care. The people who used to migrate to industrial areas or abroad for work can now stay in their natives and work in this carpet factory. <laughs> The opportunity of this permanent local workplace has created the scope to fulfill the dream and appreciate the feelings of security among the women of the locality. At the same phase, women's importance has increased in their families as well.